Good afternoon and welcome to the Great Journey podcast series. Uh, today's podcast is called The Strength of Mind in the Presence of Danger. Cynthia Callahan with us will be talking about the first character development trait that we teach in our school, which is courage. Cynthia, take it away. Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so strength of mind in the face of danger. So um, um, courage is the number one character trait when you start to list all the different character traits and we have a list of 12 that we talk about but all, this list has many subcategories too but this starts with courage okay. courtesy integrity humility self-control etc and it goes on right but without courage then you're you may be able to develop some of the character traits other character traits on a superficial level mm -hmm. but not to any great depth and not to any great strength okay and the reason is that um, courage means being strong in the face of danger. Mm -hmm. And there are all kinds of different dangerous things that exist in the way, world. Mm -hmm. Danger is something that is going to hurt us mm -hmm. in some way. Mm -hmm. um, it can be something huge, like we were talking a few minutes ago about a tidal wave. Right. Uh, that's a could, good visual. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could be a building that's collapsing on you. It could be a, a rock slide. It could be a fire. It could be a flood, or it could be something even very, very tiny, like a virus. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, have you heard of coronavirus? Have I heard of that? Yeah. yeah. I think the whole world. Has right. Been. Okay. So yes. So being strong in the face of that dangerous situation. Um, and there's all different kinds of danger too. There can be danger from uh, some emotional situation, a relationship. There mm -hmm. can be a financial danger. There can be um, physical danger, of course, all different types of danger. Mm -hmm. So when you say courage is the base trait, mm -hmm. so you're saying like to be successful and having peace or being vulnerable with people, those are all facets of being courageous because they're you're giving something of yourself yes. to get strong in those areas of your life, correct? Yes. Am I yes. understanding that correctly? Yep. Yep. Okay. And and since you mentioned vulnerability, being mm -hmm. vulnerable to other people, that takes courage to do that mm -hmm. because you are exposing yourself mm -hmm. to other people and you don't know how they're gonna necessarily react to that. Right. Now if you've known the person for a long time and you've already had a good relationship with them, then you can expect that they're not going to uh, attack you in some way. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know the person and become vulnerable to them, then mm -hmm. yes, they, they might attack you in some way. Yeah. Okay. And we're, we're seeing a lot of that go on in our culture right now. Yes. It doesn't it's matter. It doesn't matter. You know, you can have a viewpoint about clean water and somebody's going to attack you. Right. Or whatever. It right. Is. It's unfortunate. I know with everything that's going on in Texas and, yes. you know, uh, grocery stores were unloading all of their spoiled food and they put yeah. it in the dumpster and then many people are out there fighting over that spoiled food oh, wow. there's a lot of fearful uh, yeah. a lot of fear going on and a lot of very unfortunate events going on yeah um so what is a way to build courage and that could be like how we do it in the school how we help train them in that area or yes. maybe in, in our day-to-day -day life yes well, you build courage by starting by facing a small danger okay. and learning how to stand up and face that small danger. Okay. And then uh, your, your courage starts to grow as you then face bigger and bigger dangers. Mm -hmm. um, this came out very dramatically to me one time at a demonstration that we were doing. Okay. We had a very young student mm -hmm who was probably six or seven at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, he was doing one step sparring on stage um, in front of an audience of probably close to 100 people. Okay. And we had him paired with one student who was about his own age and about his own rank, had mm -hmm. about the same amount of experience okay. that he did. Mm -hmm. And then, and he did fine with that, that uh, Person. And that person was attacking him. That student was attacking him. Okay. He was defending, defending himself. himself. And then we brought in a kid that was a two or three years older and a couple rank levels up higher than mm -hmm. he was. And he defended himself against that. Mm -hmm. Then another kid that was a few years older than that. And he defended himself against that. Mm -hmm. And then the last one was a, an adult. And this adult 
was like six foot tall, okay. 190 pounds. Just slightly intimidating. Right. He was, mm -hmm. he was quite intimidating. Mm -hmm. And the young boy just stood right up to him. And you could see his, if you, uh, I could see, because yes. I was looking for it. Right. I could see his confidence and his courage growing with every different opponent that he was facing. Oh, how neat. And it didn't take a tremendous amount of time either. This right. was, he just had one person come up and attack him three mm -hmm. or four times. Mm -hmm. Then the next person came up and attacked him three or four times. And then next, the next, next. It just kept building and building and building. Oh, that's it, a cool it was story. a remarkable process. That is, that's really, that would be really neat to see that. And how amazing that a six-year-old could have that kind of mentality and yes. confidence in such yes. a short amount of time. Yes. That's pretty amazing. And it, but it happened, uh, there were two different things that were there. Mm -hmm. Number one is that um, we believed in him. Yes. And that had to be there first. We, we believed in him. And then he believed in us. Mm -hmm. There had been a bond that was formed between us. And right. so he trusted us yeah. that we were going to, we weren't going to put him in a situation that where he would actually be harmed. Right. We wanted him to think he could be harmed. Right. But <laughs> no, what wanna, to yeah. do in that, in that instance. Yeah. Which you guys do a wonderful job, you and all the instructors and in creating that bond with the kids and building that trust factor to where they could succeed yep. and learn how to do these um, dangerous things and challenges, go, go to these challenges and do it with confidence and courage. Yep. yep. Great. Yep. Things I even still need to work on myself. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Sensei. And we hope that was a source of encouragement for you today. We'll see you next time on the Great Journey Podcast. Have a great day. Bye-bye.